Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Levy. I'm the CEO and founder of Mipasa. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to run through Mipasa. What is Mipasa? Why we created Mipasa? What you can do with Mipasa and how to join us. So let's start. Mipasa is a collaborative, data-driven, browser-based decision-making platform that allows you to collaborate with confidence. And let's talk about why you need it and what, what is it. So it's a cloud-native programmable data hub that is running in a browser. Basically, you can accelerate research, development, testing, experimenting, visualizing, collaborating, publishing, post-production monitoring, all in a browser. If it sounds like it's not too much, I think it's a lot. I think the main challenge is actually to make it simple, to get results to be explainable. And there's a huge problem that people overlook. It's about making stuff shareable. So why do it all in a browser? Productivity, you can work from anywhere, no installations, you set up and everything goes with you. Uh, collaboration, your collaborators also don't need to install anything, they can run from a browser. Uh, shareability and control, it's very good practice to not have stuff on your laptop. It's very good practice to not have stuff on an old computer. It's very good practice to be able to reproduce numbers so that you can retain control over what you're sharing with people. Instead of emailing a huge PDF or a zip file and in two seconds you become kind of, you know, out of order or you don't even know what happens to your data later on, it's much better if you retain the control over the data. So browsers are good for you. Why cloud first? So synchronization, you always work with the same or the latest files, right? So everybody's looking at the same version. It's very, you're looking at a lot more compute power, uh, memory, storage, interacting with different infrastructures. So you need to do it in, in, in a much more scalable way. You can also do it on premise, but moving to the cloud is not a bad thing. You can pay only for what you need in the sense of at the moment, I'm going to start with one node and I'm going to run it, you know, in a very simple way while I'm testing, experimenting, trying stuff. If I want to scale, it's exactly the same API to do it on one machine or a thousand. Another thing that is important about the cloud compute when it comes to analytics at scale with the way we do it is that you pay only for what you need. So if you don't run stuff, that's okay. If you need to run stuff, you can scale. So there are a lot of benefits to moving stuff from a small computer to the cloud. Okay, let's talk about the problem very quickly. I think it's clear. It's difficult to make informed decisions, run models and analytics at scale. Data is everywhere, different locations. Uh, data is getting updated in different frequencies, right? You have like event-based data. You have batch-based data. You have uh, data that you don't even control. Not everything is changed by you, right? Bloomberg feeds for, you know, finance. Um, it's very difficult to work with multiple data sets continuously, right? Different languages, units, time zones, metrics, file structures, file formats. I'm going to show a few examples, uh, data quality and reliability, right? So if I have a CSV that I just downloaded for somebody, or if somebody gives me like a mid-calculation output, it's not the same as I'm going to get some highly regulated, you know, approved data, let's say trial data that is really well taken care of, or some financial data that is provided to me by the exchange. Different quality of data, right? So we need to Take care of that. Researchers, modelers spend more than 80% of the time trying to make sense, gathering data, cleansing data, formatting data, structuring data, and less than 20% trying to actually model the stuff. Uh, very difficult to collaborate. How do you share? How do you work together across teams, across organizations? So there are enough problems that we are trying to tackle. Our expertise, before working on Mipasa, we worked on secure multi-party sharing in terms of blockchains, DLTs, distributed systems, a lot of cryptography involved with who can see data, how to reproduce data. Everybody should have the same version of the truth. So that's kind of one aspect that we spent over five years on uh, in the sense of blockchain, highly regulated environments, right? There's sensitive data, there's data retention requirements, processing, the right to be forgotten, regulations. There's a lot of stuff going on that is actually needed in terms of like working with sensitive you know, models, outputs, analytics, and making decisions upon that. Permissioning and control. We spent a lot of time prior to Mipasa working on who can see data, who can run, who can process, who can store, who can share on your behalf. And that's what we kind of came and brought to the space. And we had an idea. What if we can create a secure multi-party system that will allow and help to develop, test, deploy analytical models at scale, securely, safely, and seamlessly browser.
Okay, that's all we need. So what do you want to do, right? We want to have shareable building blocks. Shareable building blocks for us are data, models, you know, your code, your notebooks, insights, the charts, the diagrams, the outputs, just to mention that sometimes an insight can be an input to another model, right? So I can generate some, I can run some model, get some coefficients right into a CSV, and then that in itself is an insight to another model or to another team. So all of these building blocks needs control. We wanted to actually have full control over what is being shared amongst that team, this organization, this company, or across multiple teams, okay? It's actually more difficult to do it in a scalable way without sharing. So there are many research groups that work together. Um, how do we work? We have a lot of data. We analyze, cleanse, normalize. I'll show it very quickly. We have the model, the provenance, attribution, so we know who shared what, with whom, for how long, and we have the full governance and access underneath, and that's the insight that's going out. Multi-cloud support from day one, we work with Microsoft, Oracle, you know, IBM, Splunk. We have very scalable infrastructure, infrastructure abstraction as well, so you can grow with the demand. Um, demo time, okay, very quickly. I'm gonna show you how you bring your own data, how you do everything in a browser, and how you share insights. So let me switch to a browser. So this is Mipasa. It's going to be a very short demo. Uh, try not to intimidate anyone, but you can contact us anytime. So when we started, we were looking at data sets, okay? And data sets were something along the lines of, I have ECDC data for COVID, and I wanted to look at the structure of the data. And when we looked at the structure of the data, it was actually weird because we have different indices, right? So if I wanted to take any, let's say, population size that is not 2019, and I wanted to look it up and mix it with another data set, how do I do it, right? Do I do Afghanistan? Do I use it as an index? Do I use AF? Do I use AFG, et cetera, et cetera? UK, United Kingdom, Great Britain, et cetera, et cetera. What we do, we actually normalize all this data to be same country code, right? ISO standard, same time zone, UTC, okay? We have the full control over how to transform this data. It's all coding. It's very easy for, it's done in Python as well. We have simulations and scenarios. So it's very clear to us what's happening with the input. That was the input. The next step is actually to take the, the data and use it, right? So if I'm gonna go in two lines, I'm gonna import this data. It's very integrated. I can find more data. Everything is done in a browser. I can save, share. If I have a model that I wanna share, I can share it with a few, either with the public or with a few trusted collaborators who can view, who can edit. Full control over that. Jupyter notebook support, no problem. Team support, very easy to create a team and work within a team. Again, you can share data models and insights on the team level. Um, I'm running very quickly, but you basically have your own setup. But if you ask me, other than data and cleansing and monitoring and knowing what's going on, I think one of the big features that we bring to this space is that this is a what on Hackathon kind of resource that we try to find it. These guys won the Hackathon that we ran with Wharton a few weeks ago. Uh, it was earlier this month. And let me show you what you can do with Mipasa. Mipasa allows you to take this insight and to actually go and look at all the ingredients that were used in the process of creating this insight from the data sources, from the models, from the versions of the data and the models and the outputs. And, and you can actually reproduce everything. So it's repeatable and reproducible. I'm gonna go back to the presentation because I'm running out of time. Uh, don't have, I have only 10 minutes, so that's okay. We can work with statistical analysis, regression testing, prediction models, finance, optimizations, machine learning, and of course, AI, whenever you want to be able to reproduce numbers, wherever you want to understand who is using your models, your data, and your outputs. Uh, summary, the challenge was to make it simple and intuitive, clean UI, Python, browser-based. For me personally, I was a banker for more than 10 years, Goldman Sachs, Barclays Capital, Standard & Poor's. We have a lot of people from Deloitte we worked in a very explainable way. It was very important for us not to just publish a model, but actually to explain the numbers, to look at them. If something changes in the data, to actually see the propagation of the change. So we can give you performance monitoring and results based on check-ins. All the shareability is a huge issue. Sharing data, sharing models, sharing outputs, that's what we do best. And I think my call to action is, thank you very much. Join our beta. We are hiring more people. We are looking for more collaborators. We want design partners that have problems in terms of data, coding, sharing, risk analysis, modeling, outputs. 
please reach out to me, reach out to the team. Super happy to talk to you. Ben Pellet and people on computers, thank you very much for having us here. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.